the Transparency Regulation has introduced a series of new requirements affecting stakeholders in the area of food and feed applications. To ensure effective interaction with its interested parties, EFSA has envisaged a set of processes and dedicated tools to comply with the new legal provisions. Applicants and stakeholders can interact with EFSA using a dedicated portal, accessible from the homepage of the authority's website. If you are a business operator, the portal is your gateway to most of EFSA's services for applicants. From here, you can easily notify studies, ask for pre-submission advice, or request technical support. If you are a stakeholder or a citizen, the portal allows you to participate in public consultations, ask questions, or submit a request for public access to documents. The portal has different navigation paths for business operators and stakeholders. To access your dedicated section, you must log in to the portal with a personal account. Click on the Login tab. If you do not have an account yet, choose the option, Not a Member, to be redirected to the registration form and get your access credentials. Complete the registration form with your contact details and the details of the organization you represent, including your affiliation category. Then, submit your registration to receive your login credentials. To reset your password and access your account, simply follow the instructions in the confirmation email you will receive shortly after submitting your registration. From the portal, business operators can request a pre-application ID and create a new study notification in just a few clicks. This section is only accessible to business operators. To create a new study notification and request a pre-application ID, log into the portal as a business operator and click on the Pre-Application Activities tab to create a new pre-application ID. By doing so, you can create a draft version of a new study notification, which can then be completed with additional information, such as the starting date of the study, the name of the laboratory performing it, and other details. When all fields are filled, the study can be notified to a laboratory, which you can select from the tools database. Once submitted, the status of your request will be marked as notified. The selected laboratory is requested to approve the new study notification using the co-notify function. When this action is performed, you will be informed that the new study notification has been accepted. By choosing a different section on the portal, it is also possible to submit a pre-application for renewal to create a list of intended studies, according to Article 32C of the Transparency Regulation. After the evaluation process, EFSA will provide advice to the applicant through the same tool. Through the portal, applicants may also request pre-submission advice from EFSA. To do so, use your business operator credentials to log in and click on the Pre-Application Activities tab of the portal. Then select a pre-application ID from the list and click on the new Pre-Submission Advice button on the top menu. Complete the form with the necessary information to create a new draft request for pre-submission advice. Then, retrieve your draft request to review and complete your details before submission. When you are ready to lodge your request, click on the Submit button on the top menu. The tool will confirm the successful submission of your request. When this step has been completed, the status bar will change to Submitted. EFSA will analyze your request and provide pre-submission advice in accordance with Article 32 of the Transparency Regulation. You can retrieve EFSA's pre-submission advice in the section, Pre-Submission Advice Outcome. From the portal, stakeholders and citizens can ask questions to EFSA, or participate in public consultations. To ask a question, click on the Ask a Question button and fill the form with the requested information, including your personal and contact details, the type of request you are submitting, and the food domain to which it relates. When the form is complete, submit your question. EFSA will address your query within 15 working days. 